What's going on guys? I'm Magic Arts here and today we got another little video and this one is a really cool card for us that I saw on 52 Cards channel back in 2012. So if you guys want to see this, stick around. The floors we're going to be learning today is called the Flippity Dip uh, False Cut. And before we actually get into that, I want to talk to you guys about something really quick. Not anything bad. And I want to talk to you guys about a new series on the channel. Right now, as of this video, I only create videos that are teaching you how to do card tricks and how to implement them. But I'm not actually teaching you guys anything unique or that's applicable is what I'm trying to say. So today I'm going to be starting a series once a week uh, in replace of one of my videos as a way to teach you guys a useful false cut, um, a flourish, or any of these other things that you might be able to use in a magic routine. So let's get on to the performance and tutorial. So this false cut, the flippity dip uh, false cut, looks just like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take this packet of cards, you're going to bring them out, do a Charlie 8 cut, and drop the packet directly on top. I'll do that one more time. Just like that. Now, let's get straight into the tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these cards, and you are going to... Uh, you're gonna want to use about you're gonna use a full deck But if you want you can start off with a smaller portion because it might be easier for some people who don't have as big of hands And don't know how to do the Charlie a cut to its entirety yet So you're gonna want to know how to do the Charlie a cut which is a, also known as a one-handed cut Obviously these cards suck at fanning and they're very um, Easy spreadable they fall apart. So we're not gonna be using them get them out of frame because they are not good We're gonna be using a bicycle deck that's been worn down a little bit <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I am sick as of this recording, so that means I have not been recording and making videos for you guys, which is unfortunate. Anyways, next thing we're going to do, is we're going to take the pack and you're going to cut off about uh, a quarter of the cards, depending on how many you're using. Cut off about a quarter of the cards, bring them to the side. You're then going to do a one-handed cut, drop these cards in between right here, and then pick up this packet, flip it over, drop this packet on top. Now, of course, that was a little bit too fast for most people. So what I'm going to be doing is doing it a little bit slower in the next segment. Woo, man, I barely, barely made it through that segment entirely. Uh, as you can see, I'm struggling to talk right now, which is, it's horrible. Because I like making videos and I like editing, but it's very hard to even make videos if you can't even get through a 30 second clip. Now, first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, taking off this 10 packet of cards. Well, a fourth of the deck, which is roughly around 15, 10 cards. Anyways, you're going to take off about this many cards and pivot it around this point over here, these, this edge of the cards. So you're going to pivot the cards around your fingers as well. That's what's pivoting them really because they're holding it. Boop. Uh, you're going to want to hold the deck before we even start in an elevated mechanic script, I believe. This is a mechanic script. This is an elevated mechanic script. And you're going to be doing a one-handed cut later, and that's why you need to hold it like this. So you do an elevated mechanic script, you grab your 10 cards, 10, 15 cards, pull them over to the side like this, you're going to pull them away just a little bit, do a Charlie A cut, so you're going to drop half of the pack with your thumb holding on to the rest of the cards. These are just sitting down here in normal mechanic script. You're going to have it like this, you're going to push up with your index finger, and over, drop this packet right here down. Obviously I'm <coughs> going a little bit too slow, excuse me, I will try not to cough. Um, you're going to get into this position again. You're here. You're going to drop these cards in. Almost close it. You're going to pick up this packet. Flip this packet over. And then drop this on top. Now, we'll do that one more time. So you're going to do elevated mechanic script. Pivot around. One-handed cut. These fingers are holding on to both of these packets over here. Your finger, your index finger is going to push this packet upward. Once it gets about here, you're going to want to drop these cards on top. Let it fall. Grab this packet with this hand, flip it, so put it underneath, um, right about this far, so that when you drop it, it'll just fall off naturally. And then take these cards, rest them on these fingertips, and then just let them fall as one. And that is the tutorial I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this trick, or flourish, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Peace out. <laughs>